Nestor, what kind of feeling is there when Benintendi immediately answers and you guys regain the lead? Yeah, it was huge for us. Uh, we tied, they tied that game up in the, in the half and just came up and uh, scored two runs from the get-go. So I think the way we responded was pretty good. Did you feel like it was a grind for you today? I mean, you still navigated yourself through six innings, barely giving up anything. Yeah, it's always a grind. Um, it's hot out there. Uh, it's a good lineup. Um, I just wanted to get through five or six innings, uh, keep my team in the game so we can make something uh, something happen. It didn't seem like necessarily you had the swing and miss stuff that you always have, but you still were able to get them through six. So what, what were you doing that allowed you to be successful? Um, I thought I controlled the, both sides of the play real well. Um, I think that's that's kind of like the key for me. If I can, if I'm able to control both sides, uh, then be pretty good because you can't be looking either in or out or or just one. Um, I stayed with my fastball lanes inside well. Uh, had a couple of bad swings, uh, bad contact, and uh, was able to navigate. They pushed you a little bit as far as pitch count. Aaron Boone said bullpen a, a little short this afternoon overall. How does your arm feel? How do you feel at this point in time in the season? Uh, I still feel good. Um, I know people are concerned about my innings and my workload, but uh, if, if I'm able to do that every five days, I'm, I'm happy with it, and I'm, I'm going to continue to do so. So hopefully I can continue to give uh, good good innings. How frustrating does it get when you have, like, a bat where there's 10 fouls off? Is that is that hard on a pitcher? How hard is that? Uh, yeah, I mean, number one, you, you get your pitch count up. Uh, number two, you know, you never want to walk the guy after that so many pitches or give up a hit. So, um it was a battle. I mean, he, he got a couple good swings to just fall off good pitches, and I was able to uh, make him ground out to their base. So uh, I was happy that the, out the outcome was positive from that. Do you think too much is made about people looking into your innings and comparing it to how many you pitched last year and uh, the kind of analytics of that? Um, no, I, don't, I mean, I don't think so. Um, I'm not worried about it, to be honest. I think... Um, I feel great. My body feels great. My arm feels good. Um, I'm performing well, so hopefully I can I can continue to, to mimic that every five days. Thank you. Is there any element of exhaling today for you guys because you've had it's been a struggle lately and you haven't been as dominant as you know the team hasn't been as dominant as has as it has been earlier in the season. You know, it's a big win. You could have been swept at home in four games. Um. I don't think we we're really looking into that getting swept or thinking about getting swept. Um, I mean, the team is is battling right now, and um, hopefully today was was one of those games that we can get over the hump and continue to grind. Do, do you like getting the ball? I mean, obviously you'd prefer a different situation where you guys had won some other games, but in that situation against a guy like Manoa, to be the guy on the mound to try to lead the charge. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's always fun to go up against a guy that's obviously pitching well in in the league. So um, that battle. I mean, we're, we're we're both from Miami. We're both from South Florida. So to be able to have the competition and go toe to toe um, always brings the best uh, of me for sure, and about the best of him. So we're just you know uh, good enough to, to to beat him out today. When, when Aaron got hit, what was your perspective on that? Did you see that as an intentional act? It's really hard to say. I was I was in the dugout looking at video and going through, going through scouting report. Um, after the fact, he he said, you know, the game was too close. We, we we mentioned it. The game was too close for anything. So I don't think it was intentional at all, to, to be honest, and, and to begin with. So 2-1 um, game. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's. I don't think he wanted that game to get away from him, uh, being so close. So I don't think it was intentional. What did you think of Garrett's reaction there, jumping over, fence right away, and ready to go? Uh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, fired us up. I, I think, um, you know, we 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 never want to get hit, and especially uh, to the best friend in the world. So um, when that happens, we we gotta react and, and, and see test the waters and see how how why, why was the reason behind that.